Hi, my name is Lindsay and I'm an Applications Engineer at Hawkridge Systems. In this video, we'll be talking about SOLIDWORKS CAM and POST processors. We'll discuss how POST processors work, what they entail, and how to set them up. So what is a POST processor? We're going to start with the CAD file. So we're going to take that CAD file and add some CAM data to it. We'll add tool paths inside of SOLIDWORKS CAM. And then from the CAM data, we need to get that CAM data somehow to the CNC machine. So the post processor will be a translator or a driver used to convert that CAM data to a program that the actual machine can read. The post processor will take the CAM data and specify it for a CNC machine. So this is some simple G code that is for one specific machine. Now, some different machines will read similar G code, but some will read totally different G code. So, what the post processor does is actually takes the CAM data and transfers it into this type of G code structure or something similar for the specific machine. So, in certain machines, we might have the program comments and then the safety line. And then in another machine, maybe the program comments are on the safety line or after the safety lines. It can be in different orders. And it can be totally different types of code. So the post processor has to translate the CAM data into readable code for that specific machine. There's quite a few different files that are involved in post processing. So it's going to take the CAM data from the SOLIDWORKS part file, and then it's going to use the post processor, which is a multitude of different files. So it can be just a CTL and an LNG file, but it can be maybe all six of those files. Then we have the posted code that the actual post creates. This code can be many different file formats and it's whatever the actual CNC machine will need to read. So it can be a .txt, an NC file, a CAM file, whatever your machine is specifically reading and the post will actually decipher what type of file that needs to be and it will post out that specific file type. The post processor is actually located in the C drive, and then you're going to go to Program Data, SOLIDWORKS, and then SOLIDWORKS CAM 2018. And then in there, there's going to be a post folder. So the post folder will hold a milling file and a turning file. And then in each one of those, there's going to be multiple different files that make up the actual post processor. So you'll see that there's different posts that use three different files. There's some posts that just use two. So there can be multiple different files for one post processor. Do I need to customize my post processor? You may be asking yourself this. There are multiple different reasons why you would want to custom your post. And that could be just because the machine will not run or it errors out using the post that you currently have. Or this could end up preventing CNC startup issues. So a custom post could enhance your startup. If you do use specific machine hardware or machine functions that you would need for your machine, this would be another reason why you'd want to customize your post processor. And then even programmer and operator preferences. So if you want spaces between your lines, if you want certain features on different lines, or if you read them in a specific way, these are all reasons you might want to customize your post processor. So contact us at Hawkridge Systems and we can easily find you a post processor or customize your post for your machine. So I've opened a file and what I'm going to do is actually post one different tool path on multiple different machines just so you can become familiar as to what the post processor actually does and how it creates different code. So the first thing I want to do is go into my machine and change the actual post. So I'm going to go into the post processor tab. And then we're going to browse for the post. So we're going to choose the browse button here. And then to find the post folder, we're going to go into our C drive. We're going to look for the program data folder. If you can't find this, uh, this is a hidden file. So we would need to show our hidden folder. So I would go into my start menu, control panel, and then I'm going to open up my folder options. So if I select folder options, Go to my view tab and then there should be a section called hidden files and folders and we want to choose the show hidden files folders and drives and then choose the apply button then you should be able to see that folder so that's program data and then if we open program data we're going to scroll down until we find solidworks and then solidworks cam 2018 
inside this window, you're going to choose posts. And then you'll see this is our post folder. So we choose mill or turn. So I'm going to choose my milling machine. And then I'm going to scroll down until I find my Haas VF3. So I'm going to choose open. And that's the machine that I'm going to select. So you'll see that this is selected in my available options. But I do want to select that as the active post processor. So to do that, we always need to press this select button. And then we've got it in the active post processor window. So until you have that in the active post processor window, then your post won't be selected. So we need to have that in here and then we can press the OK button. So I'll go ahead and post process this. I would also recommend using the generate tool path after changing anything in your machine settings and it's just going to go ahead and refresh all the different tool paths to that new post processor or anything you change inside the machine settings. So I'm just going to post this drilling tool path so I'll right click on that and choose post process and I'm going to save this in a G code folder on my computer so I'll just choose save and then I can either step through line by line to see the code being created or I can play through the whole thing or there's also a fast option that just plays through without showing you in this window. So this is a short code, so I can just play through this. And instead of having to look at it through this little window here, we can go into our SolidWorks Cam editor. So I'll just press OK, and I'll bring this up into the editor. So here's my code, and this is again for a Haas machine. And then I'll just post the exact same drilling tool path. And I'll just name this something different. And then again, I'm going to play through this and open this up in the same program. So you'll see my code is very, very different based on the machine that I selected. I'll do one more machine. So I'm going to go ahead and select a different post processor. So we'll just do a Siemens machine. I'll choose select. And then again, I'm just going to post that drilling tool path. So this is the third type of code. So it's similar to the first one, except it's still different. Again, there's similar concepts between the two different codes, but it's very, very different. Same with the thermwood router. So you can kind of see all the differences between all of these different codes. So in this video we explained what the post processor is, how to find that, and what it actually does to the code. Thanks for watching.